Well, everybody, here's a look at the live local Storm Team Fury Doppler radar. And as you can see, a heavier rain is falling down to the south and east of Terre Haute. And we also have some rain sort of creeping up now from the south into uh, the Terre Haute area. But you know what? At this point, I don't expect this to be a major flood event, at least for the rivers. Take a look at what we project the river stages to be. And uh, here we have Montezuma cresting at 20.2 feet on Sunday. Sunday in Clinton also at 20.2. Monday in Terre Haute at 18.2. Wednesday the crest in Hudsonville and Riverton on Wednesday. And also on Wednesday in Vincennes at 17 feet. Now along the White River will crest on Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday and Thursday. But again, these river stages are high, but uh, we've had higher even earlier this year. We've had river stages much higher than what you see here. Now this, of course, is subject to change depending on the amount of rain we have. And so I would uh, urge you to check out WTHITV.com on the weather page. You can go right down there and there's a little place where you can click that has river stages and that will be updated on a somewhat regular basis and uh, depending on the amount of rain that falls. And so I'll continue to keep you updated as well. But here you can see the rain coming here and I don't expect any big storms. So we're going to have a steady rainfall and uh, actually, you know, we could we could use a little bit of rain. It's been quite dry. The thing about it is we probably don't need all of this rain all at once because even though we're not having major floods along the rivers, I would expect the possibility of some flooding in some low lying areas and so on. And that's the reason that Illinois has issued a flash flood uh, watch in effect for uh, well from Clark County all the way down in through Crawford into Lawrence and over into Richland and Jasper and most of the counties here in the News 10 viewing area. And so flooding in low places, roads, you know how you get dips in the roads and so on and that's where the flooding is more likely to take place. 59 in Terre Haute, 59 in Linton, 58 in Robinson. We had a high today of 65 in KZ. It still is 60 degrees. Wind up from the south at 12 miles per hour. Vincennes, 10 miles per hour. Robinson, 7. And now we take a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. Here's 7 o'clock tonight. This is pretty much where most of the rain is, at least for the time being. But then we get into about midnight tonight, and the rain spreads a little more widely across the region and into the overnight hours tonight. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. A lot of rain around, so your commute tomorrow morning will be rainy. This is noon tomorrow, so a pretty good chance of rain tomorrow. But here's what happens as we get into 6 o'clock tomorrow night. And then the chance of rain tapers off and moves out and some cooler air spills in, maybe even a few breaks in the clouds, but that's a pretty good setup for the possibility of fog as we get into tomorrow night. I'll keep you posted on that. Rain likely, at times it could be heavy, 57 for the low tonight, and then 62, rain likely, breezy, mild tomorrow, and then for tomorrow night, rain tapering off, but then we could have some fog developing, down to about 40 degrees for the overnight low. And the seven day forecast, actually, you know, Friday doesn't look too bad. A little break on Friday and perhaps a bit of sunshine. A high of 62 degrees. But rain back in the picture for Saturday and Sunday. Monday, a chance of rain as well. But Tuesday and Wednesday of the next week, it looks as though we'll dry out. But we will stay mild.